Hello, Scrappy Peep Susanna here today for Ellie's Studio, and I'm sharing with you this large photo swimming layout created using the February kit and add-ons. So this is primarily actually the February kit, um, as well as the paper stack. And you can see it's um, pretty much a monochromatic layout uh, featuring teal, aqua. We've been through this debate before, right? So I'm just going to always say both colors. Um, and I am going to use most of the hues of that color I have pulled from the kit and the other supplies to create this layout. So uh, the paper stack obviously is not 12 by 12, but it easily pieces together, as you can see there, um, to create a header. I um, Because the photo is so, it's not pale, it, it's kind of washed out. It's a little bit washed out in order to edit it. Um, and so, I want the black for the contrast to her head so that it's not just this random head. Um, it also provides, it pulls out the grays that are in that photo. And so I'm going, I, you can see I've cut the uh, digital cut file. Um, those are all different sayings. And so I've cut that in black and then I want this really thin strip that's going to go at the bottom as the footer to the page. Um, and it just grounds the layout. See how it pulls it all together. And you'll see me go through and point out um, it actually isn't a triangle, but it, be, it can close out to a triangle, but you're going to get this diagonal movement from where I just put that um, life captured at the top right over to the middle left down to the bottom right. Um, so it creates this movement through the center of the photo the date and the journaling with the title down at the bottom there. So I have this collage of cards down the bottom. Um, you can see there's two four by sixes and I'm going to trim off that bottom one and then the uh, three by four on the right hand side there. And I thought maybe I might use that black stamp, um, but it, uh, I really wanted that space in order to be able to journal. So I'm just assessing how I'm going to put these elements in there. I want just the amount, right amount of black, but not too much black because I want her, her head and her cap and her goggles to be the center focus right there. Um, so that February label is a perfect way of getting a shot of black on that left hand side there. Um, and I still want something else there. I don't want just that random thing sitting there. And so I'm sort of assessing what do I have? What do I have available to me? And how am I going to fill that? So I know I want to use one of those circles, but I've got all of this stuff down the bottom. So I need to go ahead and get that anchored before I can work on that left hand side um, of the page over there. So I like to use these stamps um, not just to create cards, but also as embellishment as well. So you can see I'm just using the hearts with the little dot, dot, dots that would be journaling lines um, poking out from behind that card there. Just a design element, um, something that visually captures your attention more than it is uh, function. And so you can do that it, to create that visual interest. It doesn't just have to serve as a journaling spot. Um, I'm also going to use uh, some one of these. It, these are the outline heart stamps. So these are all from the love note stamp. I have used this stamp set a ton. And if you want to see how you can embellish your own three by four pocket cards or create your own pocket cards, kind of um, a la Heidi Swap, um, be sure to check out my reels. There's a reel over there late of one of the cards that I created um, for another LA Studio layout. So I've committed to all of this and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down uh, and I will trim off the pieces intentionally that are hanging over the edge. So I wanted a little bit of, I wanted that cascading effect um, and so by putting the cards askew slightly, I am able to create that effect. So I did one of these layouts. Um, there were actually two pictures of her that I did way, way, way back when for simple stories of um, Mia when she was first competing uh, and swimming butterfly. So it's nice to have this photo of her um, large and just as a contrast to way back, gosh, I want to say it was like six, eight possibly years ago. I'll have to pull out the photo and put them side by side, um, but it's nice to have that over the years sort of look at um, how things are going.
So committing to these pieces and then figuring out how I'm going to put in the fine details. Um, so those are die cuts. That The first thing that I put down is a die cut, and then that is a life captured sticker. Um, I actually wanted to move it, but I'm working on a matte photo paper, um, and it's very... Uh, quick to grab the stickers and it leaves it uh, adhesive behind. So while I, that wasn't the ideal placement for it, it works. And I'm actually going to go in off camera and use the Love Note stamps again and stamp in black with just a few of the teeny tiny hearts. You'll see those in details um, at the end. The other thing that I am going to do off camera, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I don't know why it didn't, I, I mustn't have recorded it, but I am going to do the title off camera. And so I'm going to use the Jane Alpha stamps. So not the large Jane Alpha, but just the Jane Alpha stamps that came out ages and ages ago. I believe they're still in the shop um, to stamp time to in that label of that big journal card at the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to use the Parker Outline Alpha stamp and the metal die that coordinates for just the outline of fly. And I'm actually going to pop those letters up off the page. Again, you will see that in the close ups um, and you'll understand much more of what I'm talking about there. So popping a few of the elements up off the page, um, I like the dimension that it leaves. I also like the shadows that it leaves on the page. Um, and so you can see the visual line that that black creates um, diagonally, as I was called. It's, it's like the beginning of a zigzag across the page, or it could be a visual triangle too, depending on how you look at it. So the other thing I'm going to do off camera is using the heart. I'm going to stamp that on vellum. Um, I had a lot more writing than I thought I was going to have journaling. Um, as well as labeling of things. And so I end up putting that heart there and I like the way it closes off that space a little bit and the vellum is clear so it creates a really cool um, effect. And then I am going to stitch that tab top um, as well in black again just for a little shot of black. So um, this is created using the February kit from Ellie's Studio. These are the close-ups. Enjoy the close-ups. If you have any questions about any of the design elements that I've used or the product, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you are doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.